Honorable President, sir, with all the dignitaries here on the days and of the days, and our very esteemed and respected delegates and participants, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor to be welcoming all of you on behalf of Ministry of Human Resource Development to this special ceremony wherein today we are going to be release of the ARIA ranking. That is the Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievements. This is a ranking which recognizes the various institutions for fostering a culture of innovation. And uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have the first ARIA ranking which is going to be released. And accordingly, the awards to the top ranked institutes in the two categories are also going to be presented. May I now request Shri R. Subramaniam, respected Secretary, Higher Education, Ministry of Human Resource Development, for his welcome remarks. My respects to the Honorable President of India, who has graced this occasion to honor the best institutions in the country. My greetings to Chairman AACTE, Shri Anil Sasrabhuti, Chairman of NBA, Dr. K.K. Agrawal, Chairman UGC, Professor D.P. Singh, and representatives and heads of institutions of these best institutions in the country. The society today is demanding students who are not only educated, but also innovative. In order to encourage campuses to bring an innovative ecosystem, we are launching the Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievements, ARIA, from this year. Professor Anil Sastrabuddha will give more details about this ranking. Before we have uh, the presentation of the ARIA Awards uh, and the ranking being released here, I would like to request uh, Professor Anil Sahastrabuddhi, the chairman of AICTE, for a brief on the Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievements. Respected Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovindji, Sri Subrabhanyam, Secretary MHRD, Dr. D.P. Singh, Chairman UGC, Dr. K.K. Agarwal, Chairman NBA, heads of the institutions, especially all the centrally funded institutions, directors and vice chancellors who are here in the audience, persons from the media. It's a very exciting time for us today that NIRF has been in its fourth year, and just now all the award winners were felicitated by Honorable President. My hearty congratulations to all of them. MHRD decided to have MHRD's innovation cell in AICTE. And for the last one year, a lot of activities have been started for inculcating the spirit of innovation on, in our academic institutions. And we also found that India stands at 81st rank five years ago. Today has come to the 57th position in the Global Innovation Index. And therefore, a thought came in our minds and MHRD said that we should have a ranking which is similar to NIRF ranking for innovations in our institutions. And that is how utter ranking of institutions on innovative achievements of the institutions has come in place. So this is the first ever ARIA ranking which is taking place. And one of the ideas was conceptualized to inspire all the Indian higher education institutions to orient themselves, create a mindset and an ecosystem which will encourage, support, research, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And with this in mind, we started working on what should be the parameters and identified seven parameters were considered for ARIA ranking for this year. First one, budget, expenses, and support for innovation and revenue generated, infrastructure and facilities available for innovation. Third one, awareness activities and promoting idea generation and innovation. Fourth one, promotion and supporting entrepreneurship development. Fifth one, intellectual property generation, technology transfer and commercialization. Sixth one, innovative learning methods and the courses. 
The seventh one, innovation in governance of the institutions. And based on all this, we decided to have a committee of experts who will be able to help us in getting the ranking studied and then announce the ranking. This committee was chaired by well-known esteemed industrialist, Sri BBR Mohan Reddy, and also included personalities like Ms. Sri Devi Pankajam, India Head of ANZ Bank, and Dr. R. Venkateshwaran, Senior Vice President, Persistent Systems, as its members. We had from AICT's MIC cell, Chief Innovation Officer, Dr. Abhay Jere, and his entire team supporting this committee. And when we announced for the first time institutions to apply, 1,400 institutions initially showed their interests, registered for this, and finally 812 institutions from 31 different states and union territories of India have participated. So it is a pan-India exercise which has happened. And based on all this, the committee decided that there would be 10 institutions selected from public funded institutions and five from the private funded institutions. And we will be announcing shortly the ranks for 10 public funded institutions and five private funded institutions. And honorable president will award one each in these categories. In advance, I congratulate all the winners. Thank you very much. And it's indeed a pleasure to be here with us. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the briefing on the ARIA ranking 2019. We'll have the results uh, on the screen of uh, the ARIA ranking, and after that, the awards presented. As uh, stated, there are uh, two categories in this. We have the government-funded uh, institutions, as you can see, the first. And uh, topping the chart, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, which is ranked first. IIT Bombay ranked second. IIT Delhi is ranked third. We have Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru ranked fourth. IIT Kharagpur ranked fifth. Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai is ranked sixth. IIT Kanpur is ranked seventh. IIT Roorkee is ranked eighth. Punjab University Chandigarh is ranked ninth, and IIT Hyderabad is ranked tenth. We have the next category, which is uh, private or self-financed institutes. In this ranking, uh, we have topping the chart: Velour Institute of Technology, Velour at number one; Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology, Koda Bhuvaneshwar, ranked second. SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai ranked third. JSS Academy of Higher Education and Research, Mysuru ranked fourth. And Welltech Ranganathan, Rangarajan, Dr. Sugantala, R&D Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai ranked fifth. And with that, uh, may I once again request the Honorable President of India to kindly bestow the honor on the top ranked institutes in the ARIA ranking 2019. Once again, requesting the Honorable President and all the dignitaries to please uh, step in front of the stage. So ladies and gentlemen, in the public funded institutions category, topping the chart, Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. And in the category of private or self-finance institutes, we invite Velour Institute of Technology, Velour, who was the top ranker in this category. Once again, uh, thank you to the Honorable President for bestowing the honor to the two institutions who have been uh, 
the top ranker in the ARIA ranking, the first ranking which has been released uh, this year. And we show this ranking is not only going to be helping the institutions gain a more respected identity, but at the same time also inculcate a more healthy competition among the institutes and also help the students also make more informed choices regarding the choice of institutions. Now I would like to take the privilege and honor of requesting the Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovindji, for his address. Secretary, Department of Higher Education, Ministry of HRD, Sri R. Subramanian, other dignitaries on the dais, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to be here for the release of the Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievement. I congratulate the institutions of research and higher education that have topped the rankings and won awards today. I also congratulate officials of the Ministry of HRD, the National Board of Accreditation, and the Information and Library Network Center for accomplishing the massive task of finalizing these rankings. If an institution wants to attract the best, it too has to be among the best. It has to provide an encouraging atmosphere and suitable campus culture for students and members of the academic community. While some criteria are universal and relevant in universities across the world, I am satisfied to learn that the Indian situation and country specific parameters have also been considered in devising these rankings. In the 21st century, Indian universities must push themselves to reach a similar status. We owe it to our history and our heritage. Much more than that, we owe it to our young people and our future. Go forth boldly. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you to the Honorable President of India for his very insightful message and in fact showing us the direction and guiding us. Thank you, Honorable President, sir.